What is good, family? It's your girl back again with another video. <laughs> I'm so annoying. So with another video for you guys. So as you can see, today is a good day. It's a good day. It's a very good day. Uh, if you have not already, subscribe, like, comment, give your feedback. You already know. Join the family. Hit the bell so you can get notified when I upload on my channel. All right. So today's video, we're going to be talking about my experience going to a Bible college. And should you join? This is for all the people that are considering going to a Bible college thinking about going to a Bible college. If you've already gone to a Bible college, that's great. You know what I'm saying? You're just watching the video just to watch it, just to see my experience. Uh, yeah, so basically it's just anybody that's interested in going to a Bible college or if you've already gone, whatever, whatever, just curious about it, this video is for you and 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 you. So let's get started so i kind of have some things on um a piece of paper that i've kind of written down so i can stay on track because you know guys you know i like to get off track with a lot of things and i just start going off on a rabbit trail and then we end up not even talking about what we supposed to be talking about you feel me so today we're gonna just stick we're gonna try to stay on topic so today i got some stuff written down so i can try so i can try to stay on topic okay so let's get right into this video all right so my experience i'm gonna talk to you like a little bit about like how it all started like how i got into ministry college and whatever whatever how it where it all started right so first of all i've always been raised in church like it's not like yesterday i started going to church like i've always had like a huge strong spiritual background you know i was raised around people that uh would make sure that i would go to church every day we be in church not only on sundays we be in church on wednesdays thursdays fridays saturdays in between i remember as, as a kid i'd be sitting in all kind of classes for church i went to vacation bible schools like church was always a big part of my life so it's, it's always been something that um i i i've held close to me uh because of my lifestyle and how i was raised so as i got older uh Oh, shout out to anybody that's watching from Crossroads. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Anybody that's watching from my school, whatever, whatever. Shout out to y'all. Forgot to give y'all a shout out. Uh, yeah, so uh, as time went on, uh, I got older. And um, I kind of, like, once I became a teenager, I kind of started pushing away from church. You know what I'm saying? Because after you do something for so long, you kind of just get tired of it. And so as I started to get older, you know, I kind of just started um, not really focusing on church and just kind of doing my own thing. And then uh, once that started to happen, I started to kind of lose myself a little bit. And so as I got older, I started to really suffer from a lot of depression. I suffered from a lot of anxiety and just a lot of just bad things I felt like were happening to me um, as I started pushing away from like church and stuff like that. And so once I turned about 17, I believe, yeah, it was around like 17, 18. Yeah, I was about 18 years old. Um, I suffered from so much depression by this time. Like my depression started when I was like 14, well, 15. It started when I was 15, all the way up until I was 18. And it was just so bad to where I lost myself. Like, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted out of life. I just, I just, I would go to school and I just hated my life, man. It was just hard. It was just a horrible time. And I really didn't have nobody to really talk to about it. And I really didn't have anybody that really understood what I was going through at that time. And so, um, it was just a very, 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 um, crucial time for me. And so as I got older, um, I eventually, by the time I reached 18, I had gotten into my first relationship uh, with someone and uh, me and that person, we dated for a while, like nine months to a year, I would say. And uh, it was a great time, you know, but I still was very depressed and I still had a lot of issues that I was dealing with. And I also started going to church during this time. Before I met the person, I started going to church. And because I knew I needed God, you know, I knew I needed God. So I started going to church more around the age of 18. 
And so I started going to this church um, that my dad suggested that I go to because he had friends that went there. So he suggested I start going to the church that his friends were going to. And so I started going there. I started liking it. This was before I met my person I'm talking about, my, my, my partner. And uh, so I started going there, you know, going there on like youth night and stuff like that, meeting people, started making friends, whatever. Then, um, like I said, I had gotten into a relationship, kind of started falling off with church a little bit. But I would still go sometimes, but I was still falling off a little bit. Got into a relationship, me and the person dated for like uh, nine months to a year. After that, uh, me and the person broke up due to just reasons, you know, life, young, we don't really know, whatever, whatever. So we broke up and then um, after that breakup, I already was dealing with depression when I was in the relationship because of just me, my personal reasons. And after that, I broke up, after we broke up, it was like 10 times more depression. Like then the, my depression got even worse because now, I mean, you know, I, I lost the, you know, the love of my life at that time. So it was just like, oh my God, like this is too much. I can't handle this. So then my depression got even worse. And then I was just like stuck in that moment. I was just like, I don't even know what to do. So then I just started like really, really, really praying a lot. I was like, I got, I'm really about to do some crazy stuff. Like I'm on the verge of suicide right now because of how depressed I am and how sad I am. So then I started going, uh, praying a lot. And then I remember to make a long story short, I remember walking through, um, the park one day. Cause sometimes I'd walk through the park just to kind of relax myself, just to kind of give myself some time to think and just pray and stuff. So I remember walking through the park one day trying to figure out a plan on how I was going to end my life, like how I was going to kill myself. And I was walking through the park and I ended up walking up to this table. And then when I walked up to the table, I actually saw that there was a book on the table. Lo and behold, the book was a Bible. And when I seen the Bible, I opened up the Bible. And on the first page, it had, you know, are you depressed? Are you lonely? Are you considering suicide? It was asking all these questions that I was dealing with. And so in that moment, you know, I really know that I really realized in that moment that God was speaking to me and God told me, you know, the only way to live a good life and the only way to really find yourself is to follow me and, and trust in me. So that's the moment I knew I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start going to church more and I'm going to go to this school because this is where God's calling me. That's what that's what he's calling me to do. He's calling me to go to this school at this church. So then that's when I made the decision. God spoke to me. I made the decision. So I, I decided to go uh, because of that. And then uh, also, like I said, once I got there, I started understanding that, you know, I needed to do this for God. And I also needed to do this for me, like spiritually, mentally, emotionally. I needed to grow in those areas and so i knew this was a a good thing for me and i knew god was trying to reveal something to me uh, by allowing me to go through all this stuff you know what i'm saying so i went to this school i went to a school uh called crossroads leadership college like i said shout out to y'all if y'all watching um and it's ba it's in lafayette louisiana so it's in my hometown is that the church i was going to so I went there. It's a nine month um, school program, whatever you want to call it. And so I, I went there from starting in 2016, September of 2016, all the way up until June of 2017. So, yeah, that's when I went. I was 18, 19. Somewhere, I think I was like 19, 20. I was 19 going on 20 when I was in the school. So yeah, yeah, I was 19 and I turned 20 when I was in school. So yeah, I did that. And then my experience going there, it was really, 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 um, it was really a great experience. When I first got there, like the first three months I was there, it was a little rough for me because it was a lot, it was a huge adjustment to try to like focus just on like God and, and focus on like a lot of good stuff. Like it was hard to like, get adjusted is what I'll say, you know? So at first it was hard. Like I was trying to adjust of being there, of being in that environment, you know, stuff like that. So the first three months was a little rough. By the fourth month, I started to get used to it. I started getting to start, I started getting used to the process, the routine of what we had to do and everything. And by like the fifth, sixth month, I, fifth, sixth month. So from the fourth, fifth and sixth month, I was kind of just going through the process, kind of just getting used to it. I was kind of starting to settle down, mellow out. 
And then by the seventh, eighth, and ninth month, that's when I started, you know, by this, by, I, I would say by the sixth month of being there, I started really being like, you know, really, really, really being focused and really being serious about why I was there because I didn't want to leave that school without having some sort of my identity, like without knowing who I was and what God wanted from me and why God sent me to that school. So by the sixth month I was there, I was really focused. I started reading a lot of books and I'm not talking about just like spiritual books. I was reading like self-development books. I was reading everything to get me, to help me to understand why I was there, like what my purpose was, like what God wanted me to know. I was reading the Bible. I was doing everything I needed to do. I was praying a lot. I was, I was really focusing in on what I needed, needed to do. And, um, I started asking God to reveal to me, like what it was that he wanted and what was my purpose and why he had me there. And, um, so God started revealing that to me, like I said, about the sixth month, I was, the sixth or seventh month while I was in that school. Once I got serious about my situation, that's when God started talking and really taking me serious. Uh, like I love to use the example, faith without works is dead. So you have to really be serious about what you're doing and you really got to do something in order for God to, to, to give you the blessings that you desire. You know, God's going to give you whatever you desire as far as what you need uh but if you're not willing to help help him and put in the work then god's not going to bless you so you have to be able to put in the work um just as much as god is willing to put in the work for you so that's really what happened as far as that and god revealed to me like what my purpose was he revealed to me what uh my talents were like basically what what i'm good at and everything I could have ever desired and prayed for in that time, God revealed that to me. And he allowed me to be around people that were uh, like-minded. And also some of them were trying to do that, not all of them, but some of them were trying to do the same thing. And so it was, it was a really cool time. So I really enjoyed it. The people I was able to be around, um, the environment, you know, like-minded individuals. It was a very, 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 special time for me so i'm just grateful and thankful that god uh did that for me so i i don't know if that really kind of gave you my experience i guess to really say like we traveled a lot we did a lot uh we the people i met you know will always be dear dear people to my heart um there was a lot of good times there was a lot of bad times at times you know what i'm saying um you know, going to a ministry college, there's a lot of uh, rules and restrictions, but they're for a reason. It's not for no reason at all. You know, there's no dating. There's no, you know, you're not supposed to listen to secular, like secular music and certain, you're not supposed to watch certain TV shows and you're really supposed to be focused in on God and good things. You know, I got to spend time with a lot of kids. I got to help kids. Uh, I really got to, um, like I said, have a positive, positive mindset or being around positive people you know what I'm saying? We had our bad times, you know, we had our, our, our times where we were down and out, negativity tried to creep in. Um, but overall, you know, I had to remain focused on what I was there for. I couldn't stop doing what I needed to do just because of bad times or whatever, whatever, you know. So overall, it was a good experience for me and I don't regret the decision at all. So that's just a little bit of my experience. As far as people ask me, did I get a degree? in the school i did not get a degree because that's not what my focus was i wasn't focused on trying to get a degree i was just focused on my mental health my spiritual health my growth um things like that i just wanted things to help me in life and i just wanted to get closer to god and and, and focus on what god wanted me to do at that time as far as just my life so no i did not go there for any type of degree i don't have a degree i just went there for my own personal reasons of growth and good things all right sorry guys my phone went off because somebody was calling me and i tried to stop the call and blah, blah blah all right but anyways yeah i was talking about a degree um yeah as far as the degree i didn't go there to get a degree i went there to grow spiritually mentally and, and mentally and emotionally and that was my main concern because without your mental health without your spiritual health without without your emotional health you cannot do anything and i know i needed to build a solid foundation on those three things first before i started trying to focus on like you know educational things and everything else so no i didn't i just have a certificate of completion of going to a ministry college um, so yeah, 
uh, people ask me too, you know, since I went to a ministry college, like, do I want to be like, I don't know, a pastor or a minister, or do I feel called to ministry and those types of things. And what I will say is that I really can't answer that question right now at the moment, because I feel like for me, I may be called to ministry and I just haven't really, uh, yeah, so maybe ministry has is something that um, I may have not realized that I'm, I've been called to yet. Hold on, I got all these technical difficulties going on. My camera keeps shutting off. All this stuff keeps happening. My phone, every, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, y'all bear with me. But yeah, maybe it's just something that I just haven't discovered yet. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But in that moment of time of me going there, I just really... Um, was just focused on what I knew I needed to focus on at that time. And like I said, uh, I don't know if I'm called to ministry or not. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but, you know, God's plan will always fall through the way it's supposed to fall through. It's all going to come together the way it's all supposed to come together. And I'm just trusting and believing in God, uh, regardless of whatever path I take or whatever. So, yeah, that's that's basically that. Now, getting to the juicy part, the juicy, 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 juicy part. Should you join, should you go to a ministry college, should you go to a seminary school? I mean... In my opinion, I feel like it wouldn't hurt to go. It wouldn't hurt you to go and get that experience, you know what I'm saying, to be able to, because I think getting closer to God and having people around you that are also trying to do the same thing is a very, very, very special thing. And it would greatly benefit you um, in your life, especially if you take it seriously. So I feel that if it falls in line with something that you want to do, yeah, go for it. If you feel like it's not for you or you don't want to do it, it's all good too, you know what I'm saying? You can find God through anything. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to a ministry college. You you, you can find God in any way because God is always there. He's always there for you. But I feel like it would be a good experience for you if, if you want to really get closer to God and, and have people around you that are also doing the same thing. And so I believe that if you do decide to go to a ministry college, um, I really, really here. I have some suggestions and some tips for you, um, just in case you do decide to really, 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 you know, make that move and, and go for it. I think number one thing is what I would suggest to you is to really, really, really be intentional, really take it serious. Cause I think a lot of people go into like ministry colleges a lot of times and they're just there just to be there. And it's easy to be all for God whenever you're around people that are all for God and, and praising God. But it's like once people get out of ministry colleges, they're totally, they go back to their old lifestyles or they go back to them, their old selves. And it, it all stems from really the lack of guidance, I feel like, that kind of comes out of ministry colleges because... You know, it's easy in the church world to be a, a Christian. It's easy in the church world to be a, a church person. But, you know, you still have to face the, the outside world. You still have to face the real world. And I don't think churches a lot of times really push that on people. Like, I feel like they just make people believe that, oh, yeah, as long as you, you know, live a, a spiritual life and blah, 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 that, you know, you can do anything. And I think that they kind of mislead people in a way to where, you know, when they get out of ministry college, they don't even know how to deal with the real world and then they fall right back in the, into the same patterns they were doing before they even went to ministry college so i feel like you know you have to separate the spiritual world from the real world and know how to um combat like know how to fight against the real world and know how to live in the real world with god by your side if that makes sense so I would say really be intentional, really be serious about yourself when you go there and really understand that, you know, right now when you go to the school, it'll be easy for you to, to praise God. But when you get out of the school, let's see how much you're going to praise God. Okay, let's see how much you're going to praise God. So in order to do that, you really got to take it serious while you're there and know what you're getting yourself into after you get out of the school is what I say. So that you don't lose yourself. 
you know. Uh, second thing I would say is not everyone is called to ministry. I think a lot of people that go to ministry college, they get caught up in a whole big thing of, oh my God, I'm at a ministry college. So that means I have to be a pastor or I have to be a missionary or I have to be whatever, whatever type of uh, spiritual teacher there is. Not everybody's called to ministry. Just because you go to a ministry college does not mean you have to be any of those things. It just means that you're trying to, you know, grow closer to God. You know what I'm saying? You may be a businessman. You may be a businesswoman. You may be an artist. You may be an actress. You may be an actor. You may be a singer. You may be a, just a regular everyday worker. Like, just because you go to a ministry college, don't put it in your brain that you're supposed to have this out of the box spiritual kind of job and i think that's something that um a lot of people get mixed up too when they go to ministry college like they don't get that and so ministry college is not for you to start thinking that it's just for you to become this spiritual teacher this pronounced spiritual spiritual teacher it's really for you to grow closer to god to have the skills and the knowledge to be a good person and to live life through God's morals and values. That's that's it. Like it ain't nothing complicated. It ain't nothing. People make things complicated, but it's really not that complicated. It's really simple. You're just there to grow closer to God. That's it. With people that are going to help you to do that. That is it. Everything else is on you and God. Everything else is between you and God after that. You know what I'm saying? So that's another suggestion I have for you is, is don't get so caught up in the ministry world. Just get caught up in your relationship with God and what God wants you to do and focus on what he wants you to do. Not what, not what everybody else is telling you there, but focus on what you and God, what God has told you to do. That's what I say. And the last thing I'll say is to, um, I put understand the real world. Again, I guess I'm going back on what I was saying earlier. I think that, you know, like I said, a lot of people just, you know, get out of ministry college and they're just so lost because they were so caught up in that ministry Bible college world that when they get out of Bible college world, it's like they don't even know what to do. Like, you know, I, and it is, it's, it's, I think it plays a role in how they're being taught. And then also the people that are there, like the people that are there learning, you know, you have to, like I said, separate the real world and the spiritual world and know how to live in both and know how to fight against what happens in the real world and what happens, you know, in the spiritual world, but also you have to keep God close. You know, you cannot lose your faith. You have to stay prayed up. You have to stay um, committed to God and what, what his word is. And you can't forget about everything that you learned there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like what's the point of going to ministry college if you're not going to take ministry with you outside of the college? It's not just meant for you to stay there and keep ministry to yourself. Ministry is all about your actions. You don't have to preach all, all the time. I don't preach to nobody. I don't ever preach to anybody. You don't know nobody. You don't have to be out here preaching. You ain't got to throw, shove God's name down anybody's throat. It's all about your actions. Your actions are going to speak louder than your words. So if you're being a good person, if you're showing love to people, if you're being the kind of person that God wants you to be, people are already going to be attracted to you. People are already going to be curious about what you got. So, you know what I'm saying? So just have the understanding that, you know, you're there for a season. You're there for a time. And once that time is up, that time was meant to build you up. That time was meant to, to grow you as a Christian, as a spiritual person. That time was to grow you in ways that you could have not grown if you would have never gone to that school or that college, whatever. That time was meant for you to prepare to have the strong will to get out into the real world and help all those that don't know God. Like It's just meant to build you up and to help you to grow. That's it. So... Stay there for the time, understand that for the time so that when you get out, you're prepared and you understand, okay, I'm in the real world. I understand the spiritual teachings of God and God is with me and I will always c continue my relationship with God and I will not quit my relationship with God and I will continue down his path and what he has for me. Not what my own selfish egos have for myself, but what he has. And, you know, as long as you can continue on that path, even when you get out of the school, you will succeed. Like I said, now, as far as the degree situation goes, I didn't get a degree, so I can't really tell you much about getting degrees and how that all works out. But from what I've noticed is that if you decide to get a degree through the schooling, a lot of people that I've known, 
that are not, you know, that are graduated from the school, a lot of them don't even use that degree. They said that degree, that degree don't even help them. So, and that's a lot of people I've talked to that have said that. So I would suggest to you is that, like I said, just go to the school just to grow. If you go in it with, just with a mindset of trying to grow, don't worry about all that educational stuff. If you decide to get a, a degree, great. Is that necessarily going to help you in the real world? Mm, maybe not. Same with college. Same thing with a real world college. You know, a degree is not guaranteed that you'll be successful. So the main thing you need to focus on when you go to that school is not really the degree, not the piece of paper, not all that extra stuff. It's really focused on you and God and being serious and being intentional about what you do while you're there so that when you get out, you are prepared. So you don't go back to that same lifestyle you was living before because there's a lot of people i went to school with, and i see y'all on social media and some of y'all still doing the same things y'all was doing before y'all got to the school for the, when y'all was in the school y'all was praising lord thank you jesus lord god hell oh yes indeed he's great and now see you know some of y'all done fell off uh, 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 let me sip my tea let me stop but i'm just saying you know what i'm saying so were you really serious were you really intentional when you were going to the school maybe not maybe but, you know, what I'm saying if you're not taking this stuff serious, you're just going to head right back into the same direction you was in. So really, really, really just focus on you and God while you're there. That's it. That's it. That's all you got to focus on. Focus on building your strength, building your muscles, getting ready for the war, getting ready for the battlefields and everything else. Okay, get ready for it. That's what the school's for, to, to prepare you for the world. So. Uh, that's my suggestions for you as far as going to a ministry college if you're deciding to join. That's a little bit of my experience as well uh, with me going to ministry college. I feel like there was something else that I wanted to say that I'm forgetting to say as far as that. Oh, I felt like uh, that's another thing. When I was going to the school too, I felt like uh, a lot of people doubted me. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know y'all doubted me. I'm not mad at nobody. If you're watching and you one of them, I ain't mad at you. Like, I love you. I got love for you. I mean, it's okay to be the underdog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of people doubted me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't, didn't feel like, you know, I had the potential. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good because your girl is trusting in God and your girl's doing, your girl's doing good. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think people really took me serious there. I think people was really... Uh, Thinking that I wasn't going to wasn't gonna finish, wasn't going to, you know, make it through, wasn't going to be who I am today. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I was serious. Like, y'all didn't know what I was doing behind the scenes at that school. Like, y'all only seen me a couple couple times in the school, you know, doing whatever I do. But y'all wasn't seeing what I was doing behind the scenes. I was reading books. I was praying. I was being intentional. It just didn't seem like it. But I was. Okay. All right. All right, all right. Yeah, but anyways, yeah. So that's just my advice. Hopefully, um, this helped anybody out that's considering join joining, or if you've already gone. Hopefully, you're doing good. Hopefully, you're succeeding. Hopefully, you're thriving, and you're being all that you can be. My best of wishes to all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned. And you already know your girl will be back with another video. Stay motivated. Stay inspired. Peace.